the shit we accepted in 2018, we dead ass cannot accept it in 2019. Unacceptable. We not having it. We not. No. Like, bitch, no. Wake up. Wake up. Pray up. Stay up. Wake up. Pray up. Motivate the trench. We got them woke. Street winning. We give them hope. Motivate the trench. We got them woke. And welcome back to my channel if you are new here what's up welcome to the fam we welcome you what's good leave your name down below your social media we gonna follow you and if you are a returning subscriber yes <laughs> i changed my name again who gonna check me boo who gonna check me boo <laughs> okay in today's video we are basically summing up how 20 18 was um a bit of a shit show let's keep it a hundred um it was a mess <laughs> 2018 had me fucked up and i'm pretty sure if it had me fucked up it had you fucked up it had your mama fucked up it had your cousin fucked up it definitely had your grandma fucked up like it had us fucked up period so I am basically going to tell y'all the shit we not having in 2019. We like that bitch. She was talking about this. She got me fired. I recently tweeted something that kind of went viral on Twitter about some shit. Would you kiss the last person? I mean, would you marry the last person you kissed or whatever? And I'll put a whole little sappy ass little paragraph. And your girl, huh, I was fucking with it. Of course, people had their 10 cents to put in, but we're going to get into it. They irrelevant. Like, cut a check, bitch. Then I'll listen to you. Okay. Fuck y'all hoes. If y'all don't like me, because I can give a fuck what a hoe gotta say about me. At the end of the day. Anyway, let's start off with thing number one. Number one. Unsupported friends. You gotta go. Period. All right. If you gotta. And I'm like, bitch. Guess what happened? Oh my gosh. I got a new car. And you hit me with that, really? I have a car that's two years above. It's like, girl, why you flip the script on you? This is about me. I called you about my success, and you want to flip it on you about your success? Okay, cool. That's not your friend. Leave their ass in 2018. Leave them. Don't bring them into your 2019, okay? <laughs> no. Leave their ass in 20 fucking 18. Thing number two, okay? Niggas, this one for y'all. Please leave them simple-minded, bird-brain-ass bitches in 2018. Stop playing with them hoes. You don't need them bitches. Remember who the fuck you is. You that nigga. And that bitch can't see that you that nigga. She gotta go. It's a wrap. She's done. She's finito. She over with. Don't even text her back. Let her know you read it. You synced it. And block them. Delete the thread. Who is that? My bad, little homie. What's up? What's your name? Uh. Who this? I need everybody to hop on the bandwagon of New Year, New Me. I wasn't on it last year or the year before that or the year before that. Oh, but this year? Hi, and you are? And you are? I don't know nobody. <laughs> I don't know nobody. I don't know none of y'all. Leave them hoes in 2018. Tell them bitches stop playing with you. Number three. Bitches, we gonna leave them niggas who fuck with us out of convenience. We are gonna leave them in 2018. You are a queen. Okay. Remember who the fuck you are. If you dealing with a nigga who is not obsessed with you, fuck that nigga. Alright? Like he calling you only when you want to chill with you. He ain't calling you to take you out on a date. He not calling you, hey baby girl, do you need something? Um, he's calling and texting you, but he's also calling and texting eight other females, telling them the same thing. Yeah, we're gonna have to leave him. It's gonna be hard. I know. <laughs> Leave them. 
irrelevant they gotta go they're done what are they doing for you are they paying a bill even if they are, are you willing to suffice yourself really downgrade like your morals and shit because you got a nigga that's gonna pay a 60 dollars light bill we're flexed but okay this one is a kicker because it hits home it hits to right up in here for me in 2018 we we're going to leave them fun time family members we'll leave their ass alone we're gonna leave them alone now, what I mean by fun time family members is I've been in Korea, in the army for almost two years. I've been in Korea for over a little over a year. And a select few of my family members have managed to call, text, send care packages, send money, this, that, and third. If you have not, <laughs> you're not coming in 2018 with me, period. You've done nothing for me. Like, I don't understand what you think. You got to get left. I don't care. Friends, family, foes, bitch, the cat, the dog, they got to get left. And that is okay. Everybody's not meant to walk with you on your journey through life. Some people were meant to just get you right there at the halfway mark. And then you got to make some new friends. I'm thinking of new friends. Another thing, we're leaving in 2018. I know for me personally, I'm leaving it because I don't have time for it. Six. Stop fucking and sucking. Especially you bitches and niggas that be fucking and sucking for free. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you giving him head and he not. Okay. I mean, nigga pay a bill or something. <laughs> but you gonna settle for that Chick-fil-A, huh? With that large lemonade. Hey, do you, boo. Anyway, if you do not bring me happiness, joy money anything of that nature bitch you gotta go plus what you here for why are you in my aura why are you in my energy you have to go i look so oily and i'm the crazy thing is i'm not but yeah you gotta go you gotta go anybody that's not bringing in positive energy positive vibes what you doing like Honestly, let's be for real. Like, what are you doing here for conversation? I can call my mom and daddy for conversation. If I wanted to talk to somebody, I can talk to my mom and daddy. Um, yeah. Let's let's leave them in 2018 because they're going to become a burden later on. They're going to become a leech later on. Okay? Okay. Speaking of leeches, sweetheart, if you are 18, stop fucking with people 21 and over. Yeah, I think that's the case. Here's why. Here's why. And this is me speaking from experience. I don't add an action for your comment. This has been me for the last couple people I've ran into in my life. For me. Y'all can't do shit for me. Your maturity level, your mentality ain't there. An 18 year old ain't sitting up here thinking about the house that they're going to get. They're thinking about that car they can't afford. Um, that Hellcat or anything of that nature. Bitch, you can't afford that. Okay? I'm trying to see how I'm about to get this house. And how much of this furniture is going to come off Wayfair.com and Overstock.com. I'm thinking about shit like that. Okay? Don't fuck with me. Don't do it. Don't do it. If you feel like you got your shit together, you feel like you got life figured out, don't fuck with me. Because you got to figure it out. What you need me for? You got it all together. You figured it out. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. You figured it out. Hey, kudos to you, but I can't learn from you and you can't learn from me. It's not beneficial for either party. Okay? If I don't have my shit together by 45, then I might hit you up. That's my deadline when I need to have my shit together, my ducks in a row. 45, I give myself 45. That's when I feel like that's when you start to pass down wisdom. And yeah, um, anyway, another thing we're gonna leave in 2018 is these um, Brett's eyebrows. Now this is specifically for somebody that I went to high school with. Um, I went on your Instagram, sis. Um, let me make sure my shit on, okay. Your eyebrows look a little funny. If you have thick eyebrows, don't fill them in. Get them arched and go about your day. Stop coloring your eyebrows in. Just for me. It, stop doing it. Because you... Let that go. Drinking for no... Like, drinking unnecessarily. <laughs>
Baby, leave that shit in 28. Because for one, it's not cute. You 21 and under, and you're hiring them clubs, and you got a cup in your hand, and the cup has liquor in it. Shout out to y'all who be having apple juice in y'all cup. I ain't mad at you. But to y'all that really be drinking and getting told the fuck up, that shit's not cute. Get fucked up in your room in the comfort of your own home, where you got a nice bed to lay down, where you're not in any danger. Y'all be drinking and driving and not thinking of the people that are around you. Stop doing that. Start thinking about the other people that are around you. This shit's not cool. You got other people's lives in your hand when you get fucked up in the club. And you're the reason why shit just went haywire. Like, pipe down. Okay. You can have a little drink or two. Okay. I understand that. But don't get fucked up. Because it's not cool. Another thing. We're leaving in 2018. I don't even know what number I'm on, but whatever. Spending money that you don't have. I don't want no broke nigga with good dick. If it don't. I'm going to elaborate. You are saving for something specifically. Like when I was saving for my car, um, I wasn't spending money. I wasn't spending any money. I was strictly saving for my car. Um, my parents would cook food, so I would have food. I had all the clothes I needed. I think the only thing I spent like money on was maybe, say I, like there was like soap or tissue that was needed at the house. That's what I was spending my money on. Other than that, I wouldn't spend my money because I was saving for a car. Stop thinking, oh, I get paid on the first and the 15th, so the check don't come. Stop thinking like that. Because if you die right now of unnatural causes, who's gonna pay for your debt? Cause you don't have all the money that you didn't right? like. You don't have it like that. Like, don't. No. Nine hundred dollars on shoes. Maybe that is damn near a car note plus insurance. But you're saving for that car. Weird flex, but okay, love. I'm gonna let you have it. Another thing we're going to leave in 2018 is hurting people. Stop hurting people because you're at a place in your life to where you feel vulnerable and you meet another person that feels vulnerable. So y'all feed off of each other's energy and it's not good. It's not toxic. It's not going to be toxic for one the other person. When you give a vulnerable person the attention that they need and then you ended up hurt them, it hurts them a lot more than it would have affected you. And so they turn into the person that's crazy or they're overreacting. You have no idea where that person was when you started fucking with them. Stop doing it. Ask those questions, A, hey, before I come over, where your head at, like, how you feel right now. You should, I like, ask shit like that. You should make things very known in the beginning. That's why I say, you are 18 and 20, don't come talking to me. Because you're not that mature yet. You're not there yet. You're not where you need to be yet. And I'm not saying age ain't got nothing to do with it, bitch. Hold your horses. I'm just saying. At the age, they they think selfishly. When I was 18, I was very selfish. I only cared about myself and whatever made me feel good. I did it. Fuck everybody else's opinion. I did not care. We're leaving that in 2018. You live for yourself, but you have to be very mindful of other people when you bring other people into your space. It's no longer about you anymore. Now it's about you and Adam and Eve, Daddy Cray, and Sarah and Sue. It's about all of them. So if you're not ready for that, keep them out your circle. Period. Another thing we're leaving in 2018, clout chasers, sis, bro, you got on fake Gucci, and I'm going to leave it at that anyway. I'm going to just say that. Hmm. I'm going to just say that. The shit y'all be wearing, it ain't on the site, because I'll be looking. This all I'm saying. Hmm. This, hmm. This all I'm saying. Oh my gosh, this is another one I feel like we should have left. My eyelashes getting stuck on my glasses. Um, this is something that we should have left in 2016, 2015. Stop telling your homeboy he can rap. Stop telling your girl she could be a model. Stop. Ain't nobody over here hating. I could truly care less. But um, keep your homeboy out the studio. Uh, tell your girl to put some more clothes on because it's not cute. And, uh -huh. 2018, we're going to leave behind not loving yourself. You are the only person you have to live with for the rest of your life, and you are still not in love with yourself. Nikki, be the queen. Get it together. That's problem. I'm going to need you to get it together, okay? Okay. Get it together. You need to learn how to put yourself first. And once you fall in love with yourself and you put yourself first, that's when you can involve other people into your space. You see where I was going with that? Into your space. You're not fully happy with yourself. You got to stop fucking with people. You have to isolate yourself. And I'm saying this because I did it. 
I isolated myself. I took myself on social media for three months. I didn't go out. I didn't text. I didn't FaceTime. I didn't call nobody. I isolated myself because that's what I had to do to realize who I was. I had to feel alone. I had to get uncomfortable. I had to get down on my knees. I had to cry. I had to beg. I had to ask God, please show me what I need to do because I'm not happy. I'm not at peace with myself. Man, you got to isolate yourself. You got to isolate yourself. I was recently talking to somebody and he was like, um, I want to grow, um, but just give me time. You're not there yet. You're not there. You want to grow, but you need time to prepare yourself to grow. Mm -mm. That's selfish because you ain't trying to grow. You not because if you could look in the mirror every day, and you would see something that you do not like, but you still walk out that door and you're like, eh, whatever. You ain't ready. You ain't ready. I looked in the mirror one time and I said, I do not like this. So when I walked out that door, I did something differently. I did something that would change how I felt on the inside. And it later reflected on how I looked on the outside. People saw that I was becoming a lot more happier. I was becoming content with myself. I was being happy with myself. I was at peace with who I was, who I was becoming. I changed because I wanted to. Not because I said, oh, I'm not ready. God said, yes, <laughs> you ready. Tomorrow is not promised. So I said, today I'm going to change. Today I'm going to do something different. Today I'm going to stop hurting the people that are around me. Stop hurting the people that care about me. Today is the day I make a difference in myself so that I can make a positive impact on the world. I ain't got time for nobody that sits up here and they go back and forth with, I just need a little space. I just need time. And da, da, da. None of that is promised to you. The only thing that's promised to you is right now, right here. So I did it that day and I said, I got to change and I did. And the person I am now is not the same person I was last year. And I'm forever grateful for that. I'm very, very grateful for that because I'm happy. To this day. A lot of people have walked in and out of my life and I fought a good battle to keep some of those people in my life. And it was easier for me to just let them go because I love myself more. It's their loss, not mine. They could have learned a lot from me. They could have learned to love me as much as I love them. They could have, and I was willing to wait for that. But when you don't love yourself, you're going to end up hurting a lot of people. When you don't know how to let go, I don't have the same friends I had when I was 18. Everybody could not come with me, have the same one best friend. That's it. Everybody could not come with me, and that is okay. Because when you get grown, and you become an adult, and you get married, and you have kids, and you have this, and you have that, you're not going to have them same friends. You not because everybody don't grow at your speed. Everybody don't grow at your rate. That is okay. But you gotta let them grow by themselves. You can't. They're gonna hold you back. They gonna hold you back from growing as a person because you're gonna be playing tug of war with yourself and tug of war with them. Like no, put yourself first. Reset the button in 2019. Don't be texting the same people you was texting last year just because they your friend. Cause they not. Don't do that. Don't fall into the hype just because you think you look cool. Don't do it. Isolate yourself. Feel completely alone. Then when you can look in the mirror and be like, damn, I've came so far. That's when you're ready. That's when you're really ready to be like, all right, it's time for me to make new friends. It's time for me to build a new relationship. It's time for me to let go of that ex-boyfriend, that ex-girlfriend I've been holding on to just because they were there for me. They were there for you. They knew you as a child, but now you're growing up to be an adult. You got to let them go. You have to. And you got to let them go for both of y'all's sake. Because trust me, in the end, y'all going to end up hurting each other because that is very toxic. You have to let that go. I had to learn how to let one of my exes go. And mind you, he abused me. He hit me, called me out my name, this, that, and third. He did all of that. And I learned to let it go. Of course, later he came back. Like I think like two weeks ago, he came back and he told me how sorry he was and this and that. And he hoped we can work things out. And deep down in my heart, I forgive him. I really do. But I know that I could never put myself in that position again. Never. Another one of my exes came back, cheated, and he told me that he was sorry. I forgive you. I forgive you for my sake, but not for yours. I forgave you a long time ago. But I would never put myself in that position again because I value myself. I know my worth. Yes, I loved him, but he cheated. It's dead game. That's dead fucking game. When you love yourself, you put yourself first. There is nothing nobody can do to make you stumble down from the platform that you already built yourself up. They didn't help you get up there. They help you bring you down, but they ain't help you get up there. So they will do whatever it takes to drag you right back down. You have to get your ass up. Look in the mirror and be like, stop playing. You know who the fuck you are. That's when you become content. That's when you become comfortable with yourself. Stop settling just because in the moment it feels good. Nah. It can feel good all up in the moment, but in the long run, you are going to end up hurting yourself.
I held on to an ex for so long just because I wanted him to love me as much as I loved him. And I ended up being hurt. Hearing him say, I don't want you no more. I got all the people I need and you're not one of them. Hearing that shit hurt because I was there. While he cried, I held him. No friends he got now ain't hold him. I did that shit. The friends he got now ain't build him up. I did that shit. I prayed with him. I prayed over him. We thank God together. We went through hell and back together and he still left me. I held on, but I learned how to let it go. I was like, bitch, I did my shit, okay? I did my thug. This is why I did a lot of shit bitches would never do for a nigga. And I did that. I stood 10 toes down for him because that's what you do when you love somebody. But if they loved you, even just a little bit, they try a little bit harder every day. He wasn't willing to try harder. That's fine. I'm going to holler at you. Send me my shit back. Period. Once I ask for my stuff back, it's over with. I don't care about you no more. Now I just want my shit. Of course, he didn't send my shit back, but it's not here and there. I let that shit go. It is what it is. I'm going to take my L and I'm keep it walking. But he took the biggest L. Anybody who has came into my life, did some foul shit, and I had to kick him to the curb, it's their L. It's not mine. It's their L. It's your loss and it's your lesson to not fuck up with people like me. Because we very rare. I be seeing some of these bitches. Let me see how I saw it right there. So, this guy that I was messing with, he was texting me and his ex at the same time, right? Telling her all the shit he was telling me. I'm like, cool. I found out one day and I went off. If you know me, bitch, you know. I have very bad anger issues, but only because I don't. I'm so nice. And then when people fuck over me, I just be so heartbroken to where it's like, why would you do this shit to me? So I did a little digging um, on the girl or whatever. I got connects, so, you know. I did a little digging on the girl and come to find out she messing with somebody. Mind you, he in the army and she's in college back in their home state or whatever. Come to find out she's messing with two guys that they, the two guys know each other, but she doesn't know that they know each other and they fucking with each other. <laughs> But the dude who I was messing with texted her talking about somehow he loved her and all this and that. And I'm not even going to tell him like, hey, did you know the girl, your ex-girlfriend, your bitch? You feel me? She fucking with one and two, but she love you, right? Y'all love each other. That's toxic. <laughs> no, my bad. I'm sorry. It's toxic. You got to let this shit go. It's weird as fuck, but they kids, they teenagers. I wasn't accepting that when I was a teenager. I just was not. I just, my mama raised me better than that. My daddy told me niggas wouldn't shit. Plus, I have a little sister. I have to think about her when I make certain decisions. Because if she did it, I would be very disappointed. And she's not about to come home crying over no boy. Period. What you crying over a boy for? Let's see. The last thing I have. I think this video is long enough. Last thing, but certainly not least. We are not procrastinating on anything next year. Um, my goal is to study my ass off and try to get into Spelman. If I don't get in, I will not be discouraged. I won't be hurt. I just want to know that I put my best foot forward and I gave it all my effort. And I went in full force. I didn't hold anything back. I didn't let how much tuition cost, how much, you know, I'm going to have to find an apartment. I'm going to have to buy a new car. And I'm not letting none of that, um, none of that stop me. I'm going to try my best. We're not procrastinating on your dreams. So, money, um. Just none, nothing. Don't don't wait for nothing because tomorrow is not promised to you. When you leave this earth, please make sure that you leave behind a legacy. Please make sure you leave an impact on somebody's life no matter what it is. Leave a footprint. That's it. Leave a footprint. A uh, footprint does not come in dollar signs. Um, a footprint is not materialistic. The person that left the biggest footprint on me is my great-grandmother, and I thank her every day for the wisdom that she's thank her every day for the wisdom that she passed down on me i thank my parents for the things that they told me when i was younger and i wasn't listening oh but i call them every so often and i tell them i get it now i understand i completely i totally get it um i thank my grandparents because they for sure have always looked out for me they have sent money when i needed it they've sent care packages they even went above and beyond to make sure that i was comfortable to make sure that i was okay um my sister for sure i carry her everywhere i go i can't imagine life without my sister because she saved my life like for me becoming suicidal depressed like I had really bad anxiety I couldn't be around a lot of people I still can't be around a lot of people but I do put myself in positions to get uncomfortable okay
Amen. Maybe we getting uncomfortable in 2019. We are getting unfucking comfortable because uncomfortable is another. That's just a standpoint of growth. That's it. When you do shit you ain't never done before, you just growing. That's it. If you can get through it, you can get through anything. It's just growing. Get uncomfortable in 2019. Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable. I've been that bitch. You feel me? I've been that bitch for so long now that I, it's natural being that bitch. Like it's not like I have to force trying to be that bitch. I'm that bitch. But um, yeah, I really thank my my family because they they are the support system I never thought I needed until I didn't have them. Until I came to Korea and I felt alone. Even though I had a great people around me, I did. Um, shout out to my battles, man. Shout out to the best NCO sorry mentor, bro. He had a nigga down this whole time. Um, I think my squad and my old unit really became family because I'm telling y'all them late nights where I'll be just walking, crying and shedding tears. They would be the only people I would call and no matter what time of night it was, they came running for me. And I felt that shit. I was just like, that's some shit your, your parents would do for you. They will, they gonna come running. Um, they gonna come running no matter what. They never judge me for anything. And oh, my baby cry. I just really thank them for that because um, being in the army, you get lonely, you get, you get scared and you get... You start to lose yourself and forget who you were and forget who you wanted to be. And you get so sucked into all of the fuckery and the foolery. But you have to remember that the army itself don't give a damn about you. But the people that you meet will love you and they will forever be your family. And I can say that I have found a family away from my family. And it is the best feeling in the world to know that I can go through hell and back with different guys. But your family is forever they will always have your back and they, they're not gonna judge you for anything so you know please don't be afraid to open up to people open up to the right people if you need therapy go seek it i see a therapist every week and i'm not ashamed of it because i needed that i needed to feel isolated i needed to feel broken down to be like it was not that bad it was not that bad I needed all of that. I needed those lessons so that I can learn who I was as a person, where I wanted to go. You know what I'm saying? I needed to, I needed to be broken down just so I could build myself up again. And when I built myself up again, I realized that I didn't do it alone. I took different lessons that I learned from different people. I went back and I reflected on situations I put myself in. Um, I did a lot of self-reflecting in 2018. It was just a blessing to be able to wake up every day and be like, damn, God said you get one more shot. Don't fuck it up. You get one more shot, so I'm really grateful for that. I think that the people that I came across in 2018, I left a really good impact. Some not so much, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? We all human. But I do feel like I have an energy on me right now that's just like I'm unstoppable. I got this. Um, I got this. And I don't know, man. It's like about to be 2019. I'm excited. I don't know what it is, but I really feel like it's God working on me. It's He working in me. He working through me. He's telling me like, 2018 was a hell of a year, sis. But it's okay because 2019, you coming back stronger. You coming back bigger. You coming back better. You coming back harder. And you gonna kill it. And in 2019, I turned 22. So you already know I got shit to do. I got big plans. Um, I think... I don't even know about this YouTube shit. Um, a lot of people just started DMing me on Twitter and um, asking me for advice. And I realized that I was really good at it because I looked at things from a female standpoint and also a male standpoint. Because I do get where dudes be coming from. Like, don't get it twisted. I totally understand. But I also get where females come from because I am a female. I have those hormones. I have those emotions. I have those feelings. So that's why I just wanted to come on here and give a little advice or whatever. But, um... Yeah, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go follow my social media. I'm on there 24 7 all day, every day. I guess I'll put the shit down below. My name is Jordan. If you are new here and if you are a return subscriber, please go tell your auntie, your grandma, your uncle, your daddy, your mama, your peppy, everybody that you need to fucking tell. To fucking come to my channel and just subscribe. Just talk to me. Just talk to me. Um, at the end of every video, I think I'm going to start saying something that's uh, just a step to help you grow. So this will be the first step of the 2019 year. Um, if you are going through anything, whether it's mom issues, dad issues, um, your daddy walked out on you, he trying to come back in your life, whatever it may be, seek a therapist because they're there to help you with things like that because you can't. 
Um, I had this one friend who every time she met somebody, she told everybody how her daddy was a crackhead. That's something she got to work on internally so she can let that go because he's back now and he's trying. He's trying to love you, trying to make up for that lost time. True, you can't go back in time and fix none of that shit, but it's all about moving on, letting go, and forgiveness. Um, it's all about forgiving people when they fuck up because we are human, okay? And that's the first step of self-growth, letting go, forgive, don't forget. Don't allow the person to do the same thing twice to you. But you have to forgive them. You have to love them again. And that is okay, you know. So, yeah, with all that being said, man, y'all have a happy new year. Um, thank y'all for tuning in and sticking through this whole 30 little minute video. I really appreciate it. Um, and that's all I got to say. I'll see y'all later. Wake up, pray up, stay up, wake up, pray up, motivate the trenches. We got them woke, street winning. We give them hope, motivate the trenches. We got them woke.